Greetings everyone. Thank you for watching another video on my YouTube channel. Today it's going to be a bit short because I do not have anything to show you uh, by itself, not, not on my lab, not on, you know, not, not a video, so we cannot go through anything. This is a short video, kind of like a with a warning for yourselves, um, because of course, uh, vSphere um, 7.0 update 3, um, it just came out recently uh, at, at the time of being world. Um, I think today, specifically today, we have seen an update uh, 3A, but just for the part of uh, the vCenter, I have not seen anything just yet for um for the ESX size and that is what I that I came here to, to warn you about there is a really really nasty bug on vSphere 7.0 update 3 when you upgrade the ESX size so you, the, the ESX size needs to be 7.0 update 3 um and I think it is much better if we go into the KB itself by the way it's the KB 86100 so let's take a quick look into the uh, KB uh, itself. So as we can see here, uh, what is happening is that uh, ESX eyes are giving the, the PSOD, so the purple screen of death. Uh, so that is always bad to, to, to happen. Uh, the error itself on the logs, it says like ESI, EXS, ESXi host fails with a backtrace and NMI, IPA, panic requested by another PCPU. And it, it just kind of refers to that, uh, to that same ID with the, with the KB. So um, this affects to the recent upgrade 7.03. Uh, and that build number, which uh, once again, is just a 7.0 update three. I know that it has been a couple of rough months for VMware with all of the SD cards or USB flash uh, itself issues that uh, since, well, uh, since moving from, uh, from something like 6.7 or 6.5 into 7, um, it seems that it has changed all the boot. So that has not been easy. And now with this uh, specific issue, things are getting more and more complicated, uh, specifically for you, for me, for customers who are upgrading into 7.0 um, update 3. Well, like it is this case, what is happening? Um, I think it is a bug with uh, with thin VMs. So if you have VMs that they are thick, if you have all your VMs in thick mode, you don't need to worry. If you have VMs, I think like pretty much every single customer or every single one out there, which uh, uh, they are in thin mode, those VMs can um, can trigger this purple uh, screen of that on the ESXi, which is not good, once again, because I think it's a really common use case um, of having thin, uh, thin provision VMs, yes, of course, to utilize, utilize the, uh, the storage a bit, uh, a bit better or a bit more, more, uh, more granularly. So if we keep scrolling, we see the error. So if something happens on your ESXi, and this is the purple screen of death after you upgrade to 7.0 update 3, come here, come to this KB, and take a look. If it's something similar, you know what it is. The cause, you can see that what is happening over here, it is a bug with the unmap uh, function. So I hope that will be fixed super, super soon. I'm pretty sure it will be maybe on the ESXi update 3A, uh, but at the, at the moment of this video, it's just an update for vCenter itself uh, and nothing for the ESXi. So the resolution that VMware is telling the customers to do is probably, uh, well, it's not resolution, by the way, so you cannot do anything. A workaround, two workarounds. First one is to do a downgrade. So just um, kind of just repurpose your ESXi with a 7.0 update two or one or, or, or just the vanilla one which I don't recommend because of course, all the vulnerabilities that have been happening since then. So probably just go to the previous one, which is the, the update two. Um, or I don't know if you, if you were in 6.7 latest updates, probably just go back into the 6.7 latest, latest updates. Um, another workaround, which I think this is a bit more complex to do really uh, on, on, on a customer base, it's to uh, convert all of your uh, thin VMs into thick mode, which I think it's not ideal. 
and which I think it's not going to be um, achievable for every single customer. But anyways, those two workarounds, either you downgrade or either you convert your uh, thin provision VMs into thick or you face the purple screen of death uh, on the ESX size randomly every few, I don't know, uh, every few minutes or every few hours, which is once again, not ideal at all. So extremely, extremely tricky for VMware, uh, super tricky for the customers who are relying on VMware uh, Q and A, uh, QA at the end, doing uh, and testing these scenarios. Of course, bugs like this can always happen. I'm pretty sure we're going to see an um, an update for ESXi super soon. Um, so, but at least I just wanted to make this quick video to inform you, just to uh, spread the awareness of this KV of this issue in 7.0 uh, update uh, update three. Don't go there uh, with your ESX size, not yet. Um, the vCenter is fine. Uh, I don't think I have seen any reported reported issues with, with the vCenter. So that's always maybe good even to up, to update over over to the to the three. But on ESXi, please, please, please be careful and read this, uh, this KB86100. And I think that it's all. Um, just let me know if this is useful. I know it's not the usual videos that I tend to do here, long and with demos and anything, but uh, we have been discussing this just today on our um, Telegram channel that I have with another experts uh, in Spanish, specifically uh, Ricardo Ibáñez has been the one who um, well, who has uh, presented this to us on a Friday, saying like they were having issues in production with this specific with this specific uh, bug, um, and then uh, and then uh, other V experts have jumped in, and then they share this this KB, um, and they, they share as well kind of the history with support, which is again they point to this specific KB once again. Hopefully this is useful. Let me know and please be mindful with uh, with the, uh, to do not update to the latest version of ESXi update uh, ESXi seven update three. So that's it. Thank you for watching and hope to see you soon. Bye.